Hi friends, it's Queen Alita. So I'm back today with a message from the Lord. This one is based on a dream that I had this morning. So welcome back to the channel. Happy Thursday. I think today's Thursday. Sometimes I just lose track of where I am in the week. Um, yeah. I hope you've had a good week so far, I really do. And um, if you're new to the channel, I just want to welcome you to this channel and also give you a quick disclaimer, especially if you're new. I really always stress that um, not every prophetic message that I share here is meant for you. It, it really isn't. Just because you clicked on this video, it doesn't mean that the message I'm about to share is for you. Make sure that you have a relationship with the Lord, that you're able to hear his voice for yourself and that you can take this message and ask him, ask the Holy Spirit, like Holy Spirit, is this message for me? Are you speaking to me? This resonates in my spirit and I really want to run with this. And the Holy Spirit will help you. Like, um, that's what the Bible says. The Holy Spirit is our helper. So, um, for some of you, this word is going to be confirmation. So I encourage you, if you do have any questions, to just ask take it back, take it back to the Lord and ask him because I'm not going to have the answer to those questions. Okay. The Lord only gave me a piece of, um, of this whole puzzle. Okay. And the rest, you know, he's going to give to you. So yeah, let's get into the message. Uh, like I said, the dream I had this morning. Um, so what the Lord was showing me through this dream is that there's a situation that you have gone through that um, caused certain people or a certain someone to see you in a negative light. And this was all due to manipulation. Um, this was really a plan of the devil against your life to turn this particular person or these particular people against you and so they took certain actions to distance themselves from you to um you know really be done with you to want to have nothing to do with you and it hurt um of course because you know that what they said or what they were told was not true that um your your character was actually slandered and you there was absolutely nothing you could do about it at the time only thing you could do was pray but um it's been a process of forgiving these people or this particular person and um overcoming you know what what was done um sorry i'm distracted there's a cat oh my gosh it's so cute okay so um yeah you you've you've taken time to heal to just um overcome the pain that they've caused you and for some of you you probably are still in that process of just coming to terms with what happened and um overcoming because it was it was rough it was painful um to be falsely accused uh for people to view you in a certain light that was not true it was not an accurate uh picture of who you are and so the lord was showing me through this dream that he is going to open the eyes of that person or these people and they're going to see you for who you truly are he is going to sh present you to them in a way that they've never seen you before and it's going to change their perception of you it's going to change what they initially thought. They're going to realize that they were wrong about you and that you're not the person that they thought you were. And um, really God is going to vindicate you in that particular situation. He is going to, it's almost like he's going to wash you clean specifically so they can see you. And it's not to say that the washing... I use this term because this is what the Holy Spirit gave me. It's not to say that you're being washed clean because you were guilty. No, but it, it was a symbol of them actually seeing you for who you truly are. When you wash, you're removing the dirt, right? That you've accumulated throughout the day. Um, so now you are literally just in your own skin with nothing else added on top of it, right? So all whatever it was that was put on you, because really it was a spiritual matter, right? Um, 
life is spiritual you know um i recently started following someone who always says that and i love that term um but it was a spiritual matter something was put on you it's like their their eyes were closed um a veil was put over their eyes and they were seeing you in a certain light and it was just completely wrong and it, it hurt of course but the Lord is literally going to remove that veil. He's cleansing you for their eyes to see the true you. And again, it's not to say that you were dirty, but more of the cleansing has to do with um, them seeing you for who you truly are. Okay. And um, just even, and this, this is really going to help you. It's going to help you also heal completely from what happened. Um, even though some of you are good, like you're okay, you, you know that um, what they said and what they did was not true and you just, you're picking up with the Lord and you, you're continuing on with your walk and you're not um, allowing these things to hold you back from serving the Lord, from being the person that he created you to be. Um, and for some of you, it's been a little more difficult to, to overcome, but this will serve as something that will bring complete um, healing it will be like um, there'll be closure the whole thing will be resolved okay as the Lord vindicates you and the scripture that the Lord gave me today is from the book of Ezekiel uh, I had it open here Ezekiel uh, 11 verse 19 and 20 which reads as follows and I will give them singleness of heart and put a pure no and put a new spirit within them i will take away their stony stubborn heart and give them a tender responsive heart so they will obey my decrees and regulations then they will truly be my people and i will be their god this scripture um, really is referring to these people or that person who did not seek the lord on to know um what he was saying about you at the time they just went with what they were given with what they thought was the truth they didn't seek the lord and the lord is going to open their eyes the lord is going to give them singleness of heart and put a new spirit within them because a wrong spirit was operating in them for them to shun you for them to turn you away for them to want to have nothing to do with you and he's going to take away their stony stubborn heart and give them a tender responsive heart because they will see how wrong they were about you and they will um, the Lord is going to soften their heart towards you. And I love verse 20 because it says, So they will obey my decrees and regulations. Then they will truly be my people and I will be their God. I love that part because I just got the sense that the Holy Spirit wants you to pray um, for these people or this particular person. Um, to really work on forgiving them. To not harbor unforgiveness. And to see a true enemy for who they are which is the devil he's the one that has manipulated the whole situation manipulated them and now he's manipulating you into being angry with them or you know just um yeah not 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 being able to release them so um as i read that verse verse 20 i just got the sense that you need to be praying for them to be saved, um, to be delivered out of the hand of the devil, cover them in the blood of Jesus, pray for mercy, pray for God's grace over their lives and for them to obey, you know, God's decrees and regulations so that they may too be God's people. All right. And he can be their God. So, yeah, I really pray that this message has blessed who it's for. I know that there's someone who really needed to hear that today. But the Lord needs you to play your part to forgive. Okay, forgive and um, identify your real enemy. You know, it's not that person or those people. Your real enemy is the devil. Um, and that's who, that's who you need to be rebuking in your life and even just praying against his works in their lives okay so yeah that is the message for today i really pray that it's blessed whoever it is for and i will see you all in the next video always remember that god is a good father he loves you so much because you my friends are so deeply special to him